pat myself on the shoulder and think, yeah, 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 I am getting there. Slowly but surely, right? No rush. It's been scientifically proven, guys, that these are retrieved as one unit, okay? And my hypothesis is, when you're talking to a native speaker of Russian, English or German, I don't know what it is in your case, and you are listening to them talking to you, and then they abruptly stop in the middle of the sentence. If you can follow them and finish off that sentence, for example, being a lexicomando, then you've mastered the language. Oh! Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anastasia and I make videos to share my language learning tips and tricks with you guys. I've uh, been learning uh, so far German and English and I've um, accumulated a little bit of experience, I'd say. I've graduated from a German university. I um, had to submit quite a lot of writing in German and in today's video I am going to walk you through my term paper Hausarbeit in German auf Deutsch which is about Roman Jakobsen in his contribution to the field of phonology I'm going to draw your attention to some of the lexical bundles which form the skeleton, the basis of my term paper. I will also provide you with a translation and a bit of explanation uh, if necessary, all right? Just a quick disclaimer, guys. I am not a native speaker of German. However, the term paper, which I'm going to uh, be sharing with you, was given an A, so the best mark in the German system, which is ein Eins, okay? And so I thought, why not share it with you guys, okay? And also, I'm fully aware of the academic uh, setting it is based in, but, uh, you know, I thought some of you are so ambitious and plan on going to Germany, uh, you know, to study, to work, um, and you might need some of those when you are required to uh, produce a piece of writing in German, build an email, be it a report, be it an abstract, be it a term paper. You are welcome. And please let me know in the comments um, down below if you have any questions, suggestions, ideas, and I'd be delighted to answer those, all right? If you're not familiar with the notion of lexical bundles and uh, mental lexicon, definitely pause this video now go and check out that one in which I have introduced the concept of lexical bundles to you guys. Do not underestimate the importance of a mental lexicon because in the mental lexicon words are stored and the better the system the easier it will it'll get to retrieve words from that system. It is our job to organize uh, the information. It doesn't matter how. E everyone, I suspect, has got uh, their um, favorite system uh, when they are really into learning languages. I have been quite successful in uh, adapting and um, implementing this one. And um, here's the thing. In my mental lexicon, I do have uh, a system which contains th three sub-systems, uh, being Russian, German and English. These subsystems are highly interdependent and interwoven. Have I pronounced this correctly? Interwoven. Interwoven. So bilabial V and fricative and labidental V. I hope so. Anyway, let me know uh, in, the, in the comments below if I haven't. Right, so if you've uh, been following me for a while, um, I have recently encountered two new words, uh, Roth and uh, wreath. This uh, wreath word seems to be haunting me because I am now, let me grab it, reading Gatsby, and I have encountered this word again in a collocation which says a morning wreath. So instantly I have expanded my system and now I have um, a Christmas wreath, a morning wreath, Adventskranz, Oh, da müsste ich noch mal gucken. Ha. Bestattungskranz. I'll let you know. Rajdesinski Venok. Baharone Venok. By doing some work with the new word and by um, enriching, uh, you know, each of the systems, I'm now quite sure 
that I'll be able to retrieve that word on the spur of the moment. So whenever I need it, right? And it's worked for me, so it might work for you. All right, it's about time I uh, take you over to my computer and show you my term paper or beziehungsweise <laughs> walk you through my term paper, right? Hold on tight. Quick side note, we are currently on holiday in Croatia and I am literally boiling, even though I've got like a cotton shirt on a month. Right, a little bit of coffee uh, to wake my brain up because the heat seems to have affected my brain. It's in a sleeping mode. <laughs> So, welcome to my computer. Hello there, it's me again and my lexical bundles. Let's begin with the title. We've got Jakobson's Beitrag zu. Jakobson's Beitrag zu. Beitrag zu is, uh, to me, a lexical bundle because it is inseparable. Beitrag zu in German, as in, in English, contribution to. Moving on to the introduction, we've got in der vorliegenden Arbeit, which to me is a lexical bundle, because you can use it whenever you write a term paper, okay, because Arbeit means Hausarbeit or term paper. So, in der vorliegenden Arbeit translates as in the present paper. Soll der Beitrag so diskutiert werden? The contribution to phonology should be discussed. Then we have soll auf eingegangen werden. You see a lot of passive voice because academic writing should be addressed. Soll der Beitrag des diskutiert werden? Mm, we've got a genitive case here. Des Linguisten. Okay, uh, so plus dative case and guys, uh, this is not uh, the purpose of this video to talk about the um, case system in German. You've got four cases, nominative, accusative, dative and genitive. It's a synthetic language um, as opposed to English, which is an analytic one. So word order plays an immense role in English uh, as opposed to German and Russian, because Russian is also a synthetic one. It is all about inflections, inflections, my friends. So, I'm assuming you are aware of, uh, of it. If not, let me know in the comments down below, okay? Right, so, next one. We've got... Um, das Anliegen der Beteiligten war, sich mit der... <laughs> zu befassen. So, what do we have here? Here. The objective of the participants was to examine the field of linguistics, poetics, and so on and so forth. Notice this little particle zu. So, in the so-called infinitive uh, clauses, where you drop the subject and the verb and then use an um, infinitive instead, you always need it zu. Okay? So, das Anliegen der Beteiligten war... You've got das Anliegen being a subject, war being a verb, and then zu befassen. Okay, so befassen infinitive. Sich, uh, and it's a reflexive verb in German, sich befassen mit etwas. Okay, right. Uh, next one. Dabei stand im Zentrum der Betrachtungen. Dabei stand im Zentrum. The subject is actually das Verfahren der Deformation und oder Verfremdung. Mm, you see, the word order is more flexible in German because you've got all those inflections. So, dabei stand im Zentrum der Betrachtungen das Verfahren der Deformation und Verfremdung. Stand im Zentrum der Betrachtungen. Im Zentrum is at the center, at the heart um, of the research, for example. Okay. Next one. Um, dessen Hauptaugenmerk auf der Phonologie lag. Okay, I'm here. So, das Hauptaugenmerk being like the main focus. Uh, Hauptaugenmerk auf, main focus on. Okay. Uh, erst in Praktis denzierte sich Jakobson von 
So, um, sich distance von. So stand Jakobsons Konzeption das. Jakobsons Konzept was that in opposition to um, in opposition zu so this one, die in der Analyse noch aufgegriffen wird. This shall be taken up in the analysis later on. Okay? Um, all right. Next one. Wo er sich der Erforschung der Kindersprache und der Aphasie widmete. In Scandinavia, where he devoted himself and his research to, um, you know, these children language, okay? Gesetz und Norwegen durch die Nazis zwang ihn, in die USA auszureisen. Okay, so uh, the Nazi Germany forced him, and then again, to go to the United States of America. You need the zu here, auszureisen, because we've dropped the subject and the verb. So, infinitive clause, right? Wie bereits angeführt, um, um, as has been shown already, Ziel der vorliegenden Arbeit, the goal um, of the present paper is, right? Then we've got this little phrase, aus der Analyse ausgeschlossen oder nur angeschnitten werden können. It will be excluded from the analysis, for whatever reasons, or it can be touched on. No more, all right? Next Kapitel wird dargestellt. So, in the next chapter, um, he's... Jakobsen's position to phonology will be shown, illustrated, okay? Uh, right, so we've just covered the introductory part. Let's move on to the second part, so the unique structure of the phoneme. Uh, er legte den Grundstein für, the, he laid the foundation for the discipline of phonology. Then we've got here. Im Gegensatz zur Contrary to Wie laute Auditiv vorgenommen werden? So, how are sounds perceived auditory? Auditory? Auditorily? Auditory? Er hinterfragt das. So, he is questioning something. Uh, die Linguisten, die danach strebten. Okay, so, um, nach etwas streben. To be aiming for something, to be striving for something. Was sie dabei aus den Augen verloren haben, lose sight of something. Or to overlook something. I think that will do. Then we've got, die solche Aspekte beinhaltete. It comprises such aspects as, okay, die Frage nach der, okay, so nach always demands the dative case, as you might know. So, die Frage nach der Eigenartigkeit, because Eigenartigkeit is feminine in German. So, die Frage nach, the question of, then, laut Jakobson sollte, according to Jakobson, um, this notion should, then, mit Vorsicht, with caution, so enthält, so it contains. Deshalb hält Jakobson die Genfer Linguisten dazu an, ihre starre Verankerung zu überdenken. This is why Jakobson is trying to show those linguists or to, to encourage those linguists to overthink their notions. That's it from me for today. I hope it's been helpful. I hope it's been informative, potentially inspiring. And if you've liked it at any point of this video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know that you like this content. And also, please consider subscribing to my channel because it really supports my channel and keeps me motivated, all right? I wish you all well. Stay safe, stay healthy. See you, Tschüss zusammen. Bye, guys. 
Ich hoffe, dass dieses Video euch geholfen hat.